Good afternoon, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am just going to do a couple updates and clarify some things. I am not the greatest with English. I am not the greatest with speaking clearly and getting my points across, as people who know me well will clearly testify. Um, often I upset and anger my friends and uh, people, until, until you get to know me, people can get mad at me very easily and really misunderstand me a lot. Once you get to know me, it happens less and less. Uh, people like Trucker Buck are mega patient and uh, the only reason we've been friends for years is because he's so patient and kind. Anyway, um, point is, I don't, I'm not very clear and I make mistakes a lot. When uh, one major point, which is confusing people massively right now, is the word wedding venue. Um, I, was ex I was told just this morning that the word venue means massive wedding. I just thought the word venue meant a place to have a wedding, okay? Um, so when I said the other day that I, that I was looking at a wedding venue, I was looking at a room. And I was looking for a room to have a wedding ceremony. I am not looking for some massive thing, and therein is my problem. And I should have been more clear in explaining that the other day when I mentioned the wedding. My problem is not that I want a massive wedding party, a venue. I am just looking for a room to have a wedding in. Uh, Melanie and I are both simple people, and we both want a simple wedding. Um, of course, we're going to have the dress and the suit and the flowers, and we're going to have the proper things and a nice meal. But we don't want this massive ten, twenty, hundred thousand dollar wedding. We just want uh, a simple wedding. And the thing is, in New York, most venues are catered and tailored to massive and large weddings. This is New York after all this is you know this is the big business there in this state and um, so my problem has been in finding a room a simple basic room that we can decorate and have a nice small wedding um, when I call around most venues or wedding hall places won't even talk to me after I mention there's 20 people and it's sort of funny how they go silent and then say, oh, we can't help you with that. So, um, I think I found a place now. And it's in a fine Italian restaurant. And I'm going to call and try to lock that in this afternoon. It's free. The hall is free. It's got beautiful chandeliers. And it's a beautiful hall with beautifully decorated tables. And they cater. So, um, that's what I've been looking for. The problem is, it was really hard for me to find something because Easter happens to be a big weekend, which who would have known? I didn't think there'd be many weddings at Easter, but there's, I guess, many things going on at Easter. But anyway, um, so I was just looking for a simple place for Melanie and I to get married. And we're just going to have some, some family members and friends. And that's it. So I hope that explains things. It wasn't about the, the money. It was about a place that didn't want all the money. So I hope that explains. Anyway, um, by the way, I want to thank you all for anyone who bought t-shirts and made this all possible. Uh, I want to thank you all for being there. I want to thank every one of you for being in the comments. Even the trolls who comment heavily are supporting me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Um, the, I mean, everybody who comments is, is helping out. Everybody who watches is helping out. So I want to thank you all. Um, everybody for being there and everybody who bought a shirt or helped support the uh, me bringing Melanie home which is something else I have to clarify a little bit because some people are a little disturbed and um, the I many people told me to go get a job to earn extra money to fly Melanie to pay for the visa which are expenses above and beyond normal cost of living I can handle Melanie here at a normal uh, day to day uh, living or the government would not have given us a visa they check very 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 deeply I learned things about myself I didn't know 
how the government is so deeply prying into your life, it's unbelievable. Anyway, so they obviously feel that I can support her on a day-to-day -day basis or she would not be coming home. Um, but it's the the idea of, of expenses above and beyond the normal. And people said, get a job. So I did. I sold t-shirts, which is um, a normal thing. So I don't see any harm in that. And I want to thank everybody who supported it and uh, and helped make this possible anyway. So it was a success. And uh, Melanie is coming home. So thank you, everybody. Um, what was the other thing? There's, there's a few things that I had to clear up. Oh, Macy's. I don't know, a lot of you, a lot of people are offended that I put Macy's on the on the wedding uh, registry, but Macy's is not a rich man's store. Macy's has become a common every person's store, and they have some very good deals. Actually, my mom just told me this morning she was looking at the registry, and a lot of the prices have dropped, and it's comparable to Walmart prices. I specifically chose... Like the, not to promote anybody or anything, but I specifically chose mostly Martha Stewart collection. Not that I really specifically like Martha Stewart or anything about the collection, but the prices, it's affordable. So I hope that it, that clears up. I don't see Macy's as a rich man's store. Although they have extremely high priced stuff, they also have uh, everything in between. So, um, you know, that's that. Now the registry in itself, um, I have people in different countries who are my friends in my church who now can use the registry. It's there for everybody. My family, who are not here, can use the registry. And I had some YouTubers who asked um, if I could put up a registry. So I figured, hey, you know, I've got it. It's all in one list. Make it public. Let my family go. Let my friends go. Let YouTube friends go. And everybody can do it. And if you don't want to, hey... Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, that's all I ask. Thank you. Anybody who's watching the videos is more than enough support. So thanks a lot. Um, the registry was put there only because so many people asked. I've seen comments that only... Boy, that thread got a lot of comments. Now, don't worry, I'm not taking offense here at anything. I'm just speaking what I've seen and trying to clear up some misunderstandings. And we're not talking about the little green man. Those guys, I mentioned them once. I thank them, but we're not talking about them right now. We're talking about the confusion in normal people. I didn't know what it, what a reading registry was, really, until some people were asking me to do it. So I did. I mean, if that offends people, I'm sorry, but I had no idea. And the one thread that had so many comments was, um, normal, full-grown adults don't have a registry. Well... Again, I'm new to this. It's my first marriage and uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that comment got a lot of replies. And hey, it boosts my video, so thanks a lot, everybody. Um, that's why I'm not offended. It all helps. And then there was another one that was uh, actually quite upset with me that got like 150 some odd comments. So hey, the more the merrier. Uh, is Melanie here? No. There's a lot of... Rumors going around that Melanie's already here. Well, I can tell you, if Melanie was here, this smile would be from here to here. I'm pretty sure you know. And I can tell you that when she arrives, I will be there at the airport with a camera. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be anxious. And I can tell you that when she arrives, you are going to know. Because I, uh, you know, you guys are. I don't care what anybody says. Some of you are friends and family like to me. Um, I've become very close to many people through YouTube, and, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, you wouldn't believe how, how close I've got to some people through YouTube, so that's very good. And uh, when I say friends and family on YouTube, I mean it. I really do. And um, I do value that a lot. So I'm definitely going to share everything with you. Uh, when we do the wedding, um, I have a lot of friends there who are not going to want to be on video so it's going to be tough for me but I'm going to try to get some clips to share with you at least you know I, I'm, going to, I'm going to try my best to try to get some um, something to share with you all because a lot of you guys did help make this possible so I, I, I definitely want to let you all be involved and some people mentioned about being invited or not invited well in a way you're all invited because the wedding is going to be 
as much as I can without showing people who don't want to be on video, which I, I, I respect that. Um, as much as I can, I'm going to show uh, what's going on. And then, oh, Melanie's going to have her first unboxing, by the way, coming up soon. Is, uh, you know, when she comes to America, she will have her first package waiting for her. So um, that's something to look forward to. It's pretty exciting. I can't wait. I'm excited. And, you know, I now I understand why when people say they love watching me open packages, it's not... It gives them pleasure. Now I understand. I can't wait to see Melanie opening packages. She's going to have a bridal shower and uh, she's going to get gifts. And I'm like, I'm so excited to see that. So now I understand. It's not about the actual receiving or giving. It's the, it's fun watching. And I understand that now. I'm really excited about watching that. I don't care if I don't get anything at all. I'm going to be so happy to watch her uh, opening everything. Um, there's another rumor I'd like to dispel. The rumor of, <laughs> it's a funny one, the rumor of the green shirt. The dreaded green shirt. Oh, you can tell I'm in a good mood, so I'm not complaining, right? But the dreaded green shirt. I have 12 green shirts. I can't really see what I'm doing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten of them are right here, so there must be a couple dirty. There has been a lot of theories and rumors about the green shirt that I wear every day. Troy never bathes. Troy never washes his clothes. He wears the same shirt every day. Well, um, some of you remember I've got a bunch of these were a gift a while back. And honestly, I prefer dark colored shirts because they don't show the dirt. Whoops. They don't show the dirt as well. Um, working in a farm, homestead environment, something like that, is filthy. And uh, I don't like any lighter colors because of that fact. By the way, I do have some nice off-grid project t-shirts in darker colors. This will be more for winter type wear because it's got the long sleeves and it's black so it'll absorb the sunlight and make me feel you know, le uh, less cold. I've got some green ones here, uh, long sleeve and I got a short sleeve shirt. Um, you guys saw that in a video the other day. So, um, the mystery of the green shirt hopefully is solved. Also, Tractor Supply has awesome deals on blue jeans. They're like on sale sometimes for $10 for work pants. I've got four of the same pants. So I hope that dispels the rumor. I see a lot of comments about where do I, um, where do I shower, where do I bathe in the shower. And I have shown the video, if anybody's still confused... Um, just look it up, look up uh, in my video list, you can type in shower, and you'll find how I'm showering, because I, I did show the video of the shower, and so that's that's no mystery, and um, I don't have the hot water heater hooked up yet, because the, um, you know, because I hadn't finished insulating the shed, and I stopped to do the maple syrup, which is, there's only one month a year, so I had to do that, but I am using the camp shower, in a bucket, so I heat water in the wood stove, pour it into the bucket, have a shower. I mean, it's a stand-up shower. It's awesome. And um, the person that sent that, I, I'm sorry I'm not good with mains, but I want to say thank you. I love that thing so much. And uh, I'll probably always use it camping in the future anyway. And in the, uh, you know, in the, the um, camper jeep. I can't use the other word. That's a forbidden word now. I can say camper jeep or whatever. Um, and laundry. Generally, I wash my clothes at the creek, and I've shown videos so you can type in laundry or washing clothes or whatever in the search on my video list, and you'll find that. And um, you'll see I actually have a five gallon bucket and an actual laundry plunger, which is really awesome. And I use my own homemade soap. And um, oh, by the way, the soap bar that people have commented on that they see that says say it's very old and hasn't been touched. <laughs> The thing lasts forever. Homemade bar of soap just seems to last and last and last and last. So, hey, whatever. Uh, I'm not complaining. Um, I haven't purchased store-bought soap in like eight years. I've been making my own soap. And it's it just it just seems to last longer. And it just like... Pfft, it's clean and pure. It's all natural. Nothing wrong with that. Um, occasionally I go to the laundromat. Oh, the horror. 
Yes, occasionally I go to the laundromat. Um, it's hard to wash a blanket in a five gallon bucket. The thick, heavy, uh, comforter type blankets, you can't wash that in a five gallon bucket. And in the winter, when the creek is flooded or overflowing, uh, there's no way I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees at the edge of that creek on slippery, icy rocks and try to hand wash a blanket. So I do occasionally use the laundromat. We are not yet, I say we because Melanie will be here soon, we're not yet fully self-sufficient, but it's coming. We will be, and I have an idea. I'm gonna make a front loader washing machine that's solar powered. I am looking for one now. I, I, a friend of mine has one for $50, but really, I don't want to buy a working washing machine to dissect it. I just can't see taking a working washing machine and taking out the guts of it. Uh, I, I just can't. I can't do that. So I'm looking for a front loader washing machine, which is in relatively good and clean shape, that isn't running anymore that I can turn in the solar powered and that's going to be really awesome and that'll then go on to a, a lean-to on the outside of the shed out here um, so I can have the water we can turn on the valve and have water spray in from the normal plumbing that connects to the house the off-grid tiny house on wheels and we throw in some homemade laundry soap and we pour in a little bit of water we put our clothes in we flip a switch and the sun washes our clothes so I've got it all planned out I even have an idea how to use an Arduino to control circuitry to make it intermittent. Now, I lived in Germany for a while, and I'll tell you what, the clothing in Germany comes out cleaner than anything you can get at a laundromat, or even my own hand wash. If I take my time and really do it long, the, the, the bucket cleaning method is really super good. But nothing beats a German washing machine, I tell you. It takes an hour to wash your clothes in Germany. Now terrible for laundromats but I'll tell you what when you take your clothes out of those machines they're clean because it'll spin a little bit then it stops for a while and it'll spin it a little bit and it stops for a while and you get a good thorough soaking you get a mixing and a soaking and a mixing and soaking and it really really turns out clean so the idea I have is compared to the American washing machines that are like 18 19 minutes or less um, you don't really get your clothes clean that well, especially working out here in the filth uh, outdoors. So the idea is I'm going to build, using Arduino and solar panels, a washing machine with a program cycle. Um, you know, We'll throw in our clothes, throw in some water and some soap, flip a switch, and have pure clean clothing. So, Anyway, I uh, hope that clears up everything. Uh, from time to time I will do some uh, most commonly asked questions videos or clearing up uh, confusion videos and that's it Melanie's on her way uh, we did get the visa I, as as I had said the um, t-shirt sales money is uh, coming through so she will be coming along pretty soon she will be arriving soon and uh, well I look forward to it she looks forward to it so um, when she is here in America, I will certainly let you know. I will certainly be doing videos, and believe me, you're going to see it. You're going to, my face, I told Melanie when she's in America, my face is going to hurt from smiling so much. You guys are definitely going to know. You'll see. So, well, uh, it's a sunny, beautiful day out there. I've got to take advantage of the sunlight. I've got maple syrup flowing, and I've got to collect that sap and uh and start processing stuff so i will see you on the outside troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project talk to you all later